Okay, so let's take a look at other options, other things that we can tweak and change, right? So our, so our process model kind of looks more like uh, reality and we get, you know, better results. So uh, capacity, uh, I talked to you guys a little bit about that. Uh, it, it's how many can be processed at the same time. So you're going to put it, you know, one or, or two if the process is doing two at the same time or three or four, right? So that's, that's a way to tell how many... Uh, equipment, for example, you have at the same time to process uh, different things. Uh, the in input and output queue capacity. We also talked about that, right? So, it it, it uh, when when you look at the box there in in a, in a process model is always the process and the inventory before that. You can actually also have an inventory after that, right? So you can you can uh, uh, tweak and change as as you want it. Like the default is to use uh, uh, only the input uh, queue capacity here, right? Because after it gets out of the process, it will directly go to the next one. It will only create a queue after the process if the next one cannot accept that. So maybe there's the queue. It's full in the next process. It will start building the queue when it filled it up. And then we'll stop sending uh, things in the in the process before that, right? So uh, uh, that's why I have a queue after. So usually use the queue before that, and and here we have the capacity that we can say. And if that capacity is met, is going to stop sending from the previous one, right? So so that's what the what the queue uh, is all about. We have the time processing time. We also talked about that in examples, and then you can put different things so now it's an exponential distribution of average 12 uh, off <coughs> sorry uh, minutes so about every 12 uh, exponential distribution of average of 12 minutes right uh, that's that's the example that we have in this one another thing that we can do that I talked to briefly was the routing so you can have different routes so, you know, maybe your process is going one way and then you can go up or you can go down, right? Or we can go to this side or this side. So then is when you're going to use the routing. And there's some rules that you can have for the routing as well, right? So we use uh, percentage most of the time. And, and again, if, if and I already explained it, whenever you create it, it will, it will be 50-50. And then you can change one and it will automatically change uh, kind of the other one because he knows how to do math. So... Uh, you, you have to define the the uh, 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 the route uh, that you're going, of course, and you can use the percentage here to to divide it into two, going one route or the other route. Uh, also, for the routing types here, you have some other things that you can do. You can alternate some of those. Uh, resources for for uh, another uh, route you can attach uh, 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 that routing entity here uh, so that's a, that's another thing that you can do it depending on the situation so on this attach will use uh, when for example you have like a batch being moved together so you need to wait until you have a certain amount of entities uh, the alternate here is for alternate routing. Maybe I didn't explain it quite uh, uh, fully, right? So when you can go to one way or the other way, you can have a line in the middle of the other line, so we'll have an alternate path. We're not going to use that, but so you guys know. There's some conditional things that you can do, uh, and, and we're not going to go into uh, running the coding part, which is uh, a lot more complex, but you basically can establish any rule that you want. Oh, if it's 10 here, I'm going to this way. If it's 2 here, it's going to do that. So you can you can write whatever if functions that you want to create kind of more complex scenario, okay? Uh, you can create uh, additional... Uh, uh, Entities, for example, you have an information that go one way, the product that go another way, and before was only information, so you can kind of create other entities from that initial entity there, so that's another possible routing thing. And also the percentage, which we talked about, is this simple and easy. And most of the time we're going to use that. We, know we don't want to complicate too much for you guys. I want to have want you to have like a basic good understanding of the tool and then you can go and watch videos and, and, and learn by yourself if you need 
if you put yourself in a tough situation when you need to create this process map that's crazy and it's going to be very complex i know that knowing the basic you guys you guys can go far I trust you